what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here again. I'm going to teach this uh, Santana song which has been requested like crazy. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to teach the whole thing in one lesson. Uh, I want to let you know a couple of things. I got a new um, Solo Techniques DVD that's about to come out. If you click the link to the right, which is signing up on my mailing list, you'll have a chance to win um, this set before it's available. And then also, um, you can upon the confirmation of, of the uh, email list, you can reply with your request for the next part of this tune. And uh, the more requests I get for the tune, uh, the quicker I'll be able to put it up, because I'll know it's a priority. So anyway, let's get in to this tune. So, so this song's in the key of G major, um, and we're gonna use the second position of the G major scale. So G, the root right there is on the E string. We're going to use this position right here, which could also be called A Dorian. I call it the Dorian shape, but we're in G major. And if you're good enough to, um, you know, want to learn the song, you should be able to look up the chord progression. It's, the chords themselves are, su are really easy. So let's get into the melody. We're going to do pinky on the seventh fret of the D string. So I can reach to the fourth fret on the G string like this. And it's good practice, you know, to get your pinky involved. You know, pinky. So we got pinky on the seventh fret of the D, G on the fourth, then middle on the fifth, pinky on the seventh, all on the G string. So. Then I'm going to shift my first finger to the 5th fret of the B string. Check it out. And pinky to the 8th fret of the B string. Which lands nicely, ring finger lands nicely on the 7th fret of the G. Check it out. Now when he plays it live, I notice this little next part he skips, but on the original recording, the next little phrase is index finger on 4 of the G to 7 on the G. And then we're going to hammer on from the 5th to the 7th on the B. Check it out. Now I saw some live versions, he just goes straight to that note. And then live, I saw him, then he, he lets an E minor chord ring out before he goes into it again. So the first phrase is this. Then it does it again. So we're still in the same position. We're going to have ring finger now on the seventh fret of the high E. So we're going to go. But as soon as it's hammered on and pulled off, we got to go pinky on the eighth fret of the B string. Check it out. And you could hammer on to the first note, too. Notice my right hand on that. I'm not picking every note. Index finger onto the fifth fret of the B. So... Then 
then I'm going to shift my ring finger to that 8th fret of the B because my index finger is going to be on the 5th fret of the high E and my middle finger is going to be behind my ring finger for string so I can bend it up and strum it kind of like a chord with this bent up to the same note as my first finger like this. If that's too hard, you could just hit that note and then up a whole step. But we're going to do it with this like double stop bend like this. Then the exact same thing up a whole step. Check it out. Then it does the lick again, but a single bend, not the double stop. Then first finger on the fifth fret of the B string, hit it. Then my ring finger comes down and I go like this. I'm going to pull it off to the fifth um, and slide. Just like that. So here's everything so far. Just like that. So there's a little turnaround lick. Um, I tend to play it in the same position. Um, but I think it's actually easier um, to play it right here. You only have to use, you know, you don't have to use your pinky quite as much. But so it's going to be um, ninth fret on the G to seventh on the G, then tenth on the D to nine to ten. to the seventh on the G, so it's right to the ninth on the G again. So to the seventh on the D. So we have then we're gonna just slide you can just slide a half step from uh, 8 to 9 on the D to 7 on the G. Then 9th on the G. And you can, you know, I'm just going to go slide it up a whole step, kind of subtly, almost ghosting it. Back to 7 again on the, on the G. So here's that whole turnaround lick. Here's normal speed. Like that, here it is a little bit slower. 